This is a poem called Life Lessons. Sister circles can prove to be breeding grounds for gossip. Shoulders to lean on may shirk promises and shrug. There is no such thing as a safe space, just like secrets are figments of the imagination. So be careful the words you speak true because everything you say may be misused against you. Such is life. Life is a song. And we are perpetually at war with the music. Our inner soundtrack moves from Bessie's blues to a love supreme. Haunting nightmares give way to bliss-filled dreams while we fight a rainbow of emotion. Only to discover that all love, all life ends in heartache. And so hard pressed by her turbulent dance, we find it hard to give life and love a standing chance when we are here and never there, standing among jasper stone and golden gate because Zion is not much more than a fable when you are earthbound and surrounded by cesspools of hate. Such is life. Why is it so hard for some of us to support one another, to celebrate each other? I have more questions than answers. Why compromise your rhetoric to satisfy someone else's ego? Silence is deafening, but we do well at holding our tongue. Bending, we maintain poisonous relationships just in case, such is life. There are those among us who are activists, acting as if they are the center, going after positions because they like titles and not because they want to affect change, such as life. Just because you are old does not mean that you are grown. Wisdom doesn't come with age, but with experience. And experience comes from being open, but to be open, we must listen. Still, some insist on covering their ears and running their mouths because the role they play best is victim, such as life. Adults who behave immaturely will often trick us into believing that they are still in grade school and thus we respond to them as children, excusing bad behavior such as life. Some will choose not to rise above in spite of what the man may do. They will often gripe about things that ain't even true, trying to mask their own screw-ups by screwing other people up, creating smoke screens with blow-up blunts, inciting the youth to choose anger over love, stop telling our kids that they are victims, but encourage them to be victorious in spite of life. Such hypocrisy, such two-facedness. I've watched women break sister codes by revealing the innermost taking personal heartache and sacks full of broken dreams, picking up another woman's pain only to clip holes in the seams and pour stories in circles, painting tattletale pictures for other folks to hear. Sisters don't do that to each other. And still you wonder why y'all can't move forward from here, such is life. Fake hugs, half-truths, bold-faced lies, lack of honesty. How do you build sisterhood? out of hypocrisy? How do you rebuild friendship on a set of conditions? I have more questions than answers. Work, family, friends, most of us only go at it part-time, such as life. Sometimes we can't talk to our friends because they're going to talk to their friends, such as life. You say, I love you, I respect you, but your actions prove that you won't. I just don't believe you, and I want to, but I don't, such as life.
Some will bring down the gavel without a lick of proof. Accusations tend to fly because they are rarely grounded in truth, such as life. Act first, think later has been your motto for ages. This script is so thick I need ten more pages, such as life. I see you poised on the road to petitions, such as life. We can't be friends because you don't know the definition, such is life. Such is life. Life is not meant to be a lament. The rising and setting of the sun tells me so. Yet we cling to these moments that maim us. And we relive these episodes with such fervor that we can no longer stand. Such indignation that we forget how to walk and resolve to pass the days just shuffling along. Refusing to look up, the sun is still shining. We draw the shades. The earth is still spinning on its axis. We lie down for fear of falling, underestimating a will strong enough to steady the roughest tide, strong enough to weather the most threatening storm. Yes, life brings a barrage of fire, loose lips, terrible tongues, but not one of us was made to die with breath still in our lungs. So if you are breathing for the love of all that you love, please, let it go and live. Because where there is adversity, there are lessons. And where there is heartache, there is healing. And where there is life, there is promise and purpose and wonder and beauty and feeling and love and good. Such is life.